wondering where you can find all of that information. So for now, I would like to encourage you simply to play around with this a little bit. So here are the three ways to reference columns. For this video course, I would go with this uh, annotation here because here we specify the data frame where the column is specified as well. And it's a very Python um, yeah, like way of referencing within a data frame. So we have the same kind of referencing columns in pandas as well. Therefore, I would go in Python with this annotation here. And I wanted to show you the Spark documentation once again. Up here, you can also find the API docs, which is quite helpful for looking up um, how you can use the API in Python, for example. So here we're going, going to browse to browse to API docs and then Python. And here you can find many, many um, in, uh, information. And what I wanted to show you is the API reference. So within here, we can see all of the classes that we are using. You, you can recall when we import PySpark.sql, we basically import all of these things. So for example, we've seen the Spark session and you can see that it's within PySpark.sql.sparkSession. And here you can find all of the methods which you can use together with a Spark session. For example, Spark.read, that's what we have uh, used before. And if you click, or it has a, a short description what it's what it's doing. So it returns a data frame reader, as I said before. And if you resolve this one again by clicking here, you can find all the methods which are defined on a data frame reader. For example, we've used the CSV method here. If I click this one in turn, here is an exhaustive uh, description uh, together with an example how to use it for the CSV loader option. What I wanted to show you also is not the Spark session, but rather within the core classes, we can find pyspark.sql.column. That's what we've been using. And you you remember <clears throat> when we say df and then in, within the brackets and then the column name, we retrieve a column object. So we have stored the reference to the column object in a variable, which we call column one, two, and three, and so on. And here we can find the documentation, what we can do with columns. So there are a lot of methods defined on columns themselves. For example, the alias method um, assigns a new name to our column. So we add a new alias for our column and we're going to use it later as well. Then there's ascending. So if we have an ordered column or a sorted column, this basically specifies whether it's ascending or the counterpart, which is descending. Then we have a contains method, method for example, or what I also wanted to show you here is something like is null or is not null, and also the dot um, cast somewhere. So here's the cast. So we can also, when we have a column reference at hand, we can also call the dot cast method and pass in a data type, the ones that we have saw, uh, seen before in the documentation as well, to cast a data type, uh, to, to cast a column to a new data type. Now, this only as a side note, I also wanted to um, show you the data frame class here. Here you can see what you can call on a data frame. For example, there is the method select, which we've used already. So down here um, is the select method, which takes a list of columns. And yeah, these could be the column names as strings or actual column references. What we've also used is the dot show method and the dot print schema, which is defined here as well. So that's where you can find a lot of documentation or basically all of the documentation to the API reference that we are using.